welcome to Total Vitality. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, breakfast for most people is the most important meal of the day. It's always good to get a nutritious start to the day, kickstart your system, but it's not always easy to have something healthy, especially with our very busy lifestyles. Well, lucky for you and for me today, we're in the kitchen at Country Grocer and joining me today is Sandra Petrell from Raw Love Superfoods. Thank you so much, Sandra, for joining us. Thanks, Julia, it's great to be here. Thanks for having me. No problem. Well, today you're going to show us a few ideas on how we can incorporate a healthy, nutritious breakfast or snack into our day that's gonna be not too long to prepare either, are you? No, I'm, today I'm gonna to show you how to make a really simple green smoothie. And it's a, it's a beautiful, delicious way to get loads of greens and um, some really lovely, delicious fruit into, into your day. Um, yeah, excellent. Okay, so what have we got here? Okay, what we're using today, as I said, this is a very simple smoothie. Most people will have um, some you know, fruits in, in their kitchen, so I've used an apple and an orange and a banana, which okay. um, most people will have. We're, yeah. we're starting with um, gorgeous kale. Now this kale is part of the cabbage family and it's really high in phytonutrients and um, lots of calcium so and um, iron, so that's great to add into a smoothie. Wow, okay, yep. And then we've got frozen bananas. I've used beautiful ripe bananas, so they're nice and tasty and I've pre-frozen them, so they give it a nice you know, icy, a cool flavour. Right. And I've got some lovely Pink Lady apples, so I can either use Pink Lady or um, Red Delicious or Fuji apples. Yeah and some really beautiful, lovely, um, juicy oranges. Okay, what else have we got? And now we've got some gorgeous coconut water, and coconut water is fantastic. It's, um, it's um, a lovely, light coconut flavour, but it's full of electrolytes, so it's really great for hydration, and it's, it's a lovely addition to the, to the fruit and the veggies that we're adding into the smoothie today. And then I've just got some lovely filtered water as well. And that depends on, on how much you want to add, whether you want it thicker or a little bit thinner, so sure. everyone's different for that. So. Yeah. Okay, yeah. all right, well let's get started. What goes in first? Okay, well the first thing you add in is, is the, um, the liquid. You mm -hmm. want that at the bottom of the blender and you, you actually need to have a, a quite a strong blender because we're blending greens that, that, are, that are not being cooked and fruit. Yeah. So we don't want, it's called a smoothie, so we want it smooth, we don't want lumps. Um, I don't like lumps in things no. and um, most people don't. So okay. first of all, we'll add our coconut water. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add the oranges. So you just pop it all in, straight in like that, just layer it up. Yep. And our bananas. And then lastly, we put in the greens. Now, you can put as much or as little in it as you want. I mean, I, I would suggest if you're starting off with a green smoothie that you just use a little bit until you get used to it. Yeah. You won't taste it because the, um, the flavours of the, the fruit will, will take over the green, the green flavour. But okay. And just some water as well, so use a bit more. Okay, let's give cool. it a go and have a try. Okay. Cool, this will be a bit noisy. Okay. And you just start off very slow. Mm -hmm. I'm plunge you here that we can... That is blending it so well. Yeah, well you can see that um, there's some bits there. You need to keep blending it to tell it's really smooth. I am amazed. <laughs> That's just broken down all the green. Okay, now this is really quite green. So. Kids do sort of like green things, you know, your lime cordials and things like that. They love anything green. But do you have any sort of special names or anything that you say to the kids to get them to drink it? Well, what I, what I, when I'm, when I'm teaching parents, I, I, yeah. I, I suggest to call it a Shrek smoothie, and then they get a bit excited about that. Oh, Shrek yeah. smoothie, so they'll like that. So Shrek smoothie, good idea. Some of the children really love it. Most of them find it okay when they know it's called a Shrek smoothie. Yeah, exactly. You just don't tell them what's in it. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> let's see what it's like. Okay, nice and smooth and creamy. Yeah, you can see that there's, there's, it's very creamy and there's no lumps in it. So yeah. I, I really recommend to blend it so that um, you're getting it really, really smooth. There we go, it's lovely. Okay, let's have a try. Mmm, that is really nice. You can't taste the greens in that at all. It's creamy, so the banana creaminess is coming through. And it's, it's very um, tropical fruit sort of flavour, isn't it? Yeah, well that's why I really advise to use really sweet fruit. Yeah. Because um, not only is sweet fruit better for our digestion, um, I recommend not to eat sweet fruit, I mean unripe fruit, unless it's papaya. Right. You can eat that unripe, but um, the, the riper the better, and then it tastes sweeter, mm. hides the greens, makes it that tropical flavour, and just gives it a really beautiful taste. And I mean, you could drink all of that in a morning. And yeah. You, 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 
three pieces of Beautiful fruit and colour too. Of greens. Yeah. So tell us, you um, you did freeze the banana and it is extra ripe. So is that for the the benefit of the flavour? Um, yes, it is. What I, what I do is I, I like to get my bananas when they're very ripe and, and they're obviously a lot cheaper too because most they people are. don't want them when they're ripe. That's it. So if you go to your, your green grocer and you can get them, like they have them normally in the packets and they're ready to I'm throw special. out. Yeah, and then take them home and cut mm. them up, peel them and freeze them on, on a plate so that they're separate. And then when they're frozen, put them in um, like Ziploc bags, sandwich bags. And you can do the same for mangoes and you can do the same for berries or pineapples and get them really cheap and have yeah. a whole load in the freezer so that Brilliant. then you, you can just get um, the rest of the fruit to add in. Yeah. Okay. Well, just quickly, in case you don't have kale, what other greens could you use? Um, you could use spinach is a great one. You can use cos lettuce, cucumber. I, I just recommend whatever's in your fridge that yeah. you, you think you can blend up that's not too overpowering and just blend it with some gorgeous fruit and then you just won't taste it. Sounds good. Easy, delicious breakfast or yeah. a snack on the go. Yeah, full of nutrients. Well, there you go. Something easy. You can try it out with the kids. It's lots of fun. You can make all different sort of colours and flavours. Give it a go. Just experiment with the different flavours in your fridge and uh, have some fun. Thank you so much, Sandra. Thanks, Julia. Thanks for having me. If you'd like any more information or you'd like to watch more episodes of Total Vitality, then please visit our website. And thank you so much for watching.